structure over here that's finished and connected with like a covered breezeway. It's panning around. Walking up to the front door. As we walk inside, you can see the stairs go up and then you have an open living area, high vaulted tongue and groove ceiling here. This is a little storage closet here off of the main living area. Fireplace. Open living space. I'll show you, I didn't open all of the windows. The home is not currently occupied, so I didn't open them all, but I will show you views out the windows. This is to the kitchen. And then you have a hallway that accesses the rest of the house. There's a nice deck that runs the entire south side of the house with beautiful landscaping, creating a very private backyard space. And this is your view out to the south. I don't know how well you can see. Maybe if I pan around here, you can see the Ski Hill Road. So there is some close proximity to Ski Hill Road. Also looking out near the dining room area. don't know how well I can get out here. Up and over. I don't know if you can see. But obviously you do have a Teton view. I'm going to pan around the house to give you a view of the kitchen. So small yet functional kitchen. There are cabinets. I guess I'll come over here over on this side also, wood floor in the kitchen. And then going back around, you can now see the front door and the rest of the living area. I am going to walk upstairs first and then I'll go to the bedrooms on the, this main level, or excuse me, the bedroom. Walking upstairs. I'll look out first. Down. The main living area. Front door. There's a loft space here. And then two bedrooms and a full bath. So we'll peek into the bathroom first. The flooring is uh, it's a laminate flooring. It's, it's not a tile. And for Micah countertops, going to bedroom number two. There is a closet here, then your bedroom, and I'll peek out the window for you. You can see the beautiful views, and you can see the proximity to Ski Hill Road, and then across the street is the Teton Creek area. It's very private and quiet in the backyard, as you can see. <clears throat> Walking out of this bedroom, 
into bedroom number two. You have your closet space. Yay. the loft area and the stairs. We will go down the stairs. <coughs> and view the house to, oh, this is storage by the way, under the stairs. Okay, to what would be the master bedroom. There actually is a door that accesses the deck and backyard, as well as your closet spaces there. Carpet on this floor. And then there's the full bath. Let's see if I can peek in. and the same laminate flooring as upstairs. And walking back out of this room, we have the closet here, just another storage closet, and then your laundry slash mudroom is just open right here. into the garage, it's a two car attached garage. I'm gonna take you over to the little extra space. So we go outside, you can see the propane tank here. There is a little walkway. There's no plumbing, it appears, at least as far as I could see. You could probably use it as a fourth bedroom if you'd like. It is carpeted, and I don't know if there's a separate heat source or if that heater is the heat source. Looks like you definitely could upgrade, if there's plumbing in here, to perhaps have a, like a kitchenette or second little living space. So anyway, coming back out, there is a separate entry to the driveway here. And then I will walk out to the backyard, which is on the south side of the home. 